Assalamualaikum guys. Hello and welcome back our listeners. It's an honor to announce season 2 of Cam Life podcast. Ooh. Yes. So I'm Shahada and I'm here with Amin. Hi Amin. Hi. Nice to meet you guys and to all our listeners. I hope you guys are ready. Yes. And we'll be your host for the second series of Cam Life. So the podcast where we bring chemistry into lives. I hope you guys are excited as we are because we're back with bigger and more interesting insights which we hope to share with you guys. But this time, our main focus is about chemistry infused in our everyday life ranging from common household objects to fascinating things that you wish you knew sooner. Today, we have me of course shohada and ami aznan as a host for today then we also have kira hi kira hi hi ami and shu thank you for having me most welcome next we have diana in the house hi diana hey, hi i'm diana and i always get good grades oh <laughs> love <laughs> confidence <laughs> and next we have Hi man, hi man. Yo, ahlan wa sahlan guys. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Hi baby. <laughs> And don't forget of course our listeners. Hi listeners. So without further ado, let's get right into our topic of discussion guys. I got a good one, a very good one. So can we got some drum rolls? <laughs> Camping and chemistry. Woo! So that's uh, that is our topic for today. I'm very interested in this topic. Are you guys interested in this topic too? Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. Think yeah. yeah. Yes. I yeah. To catch it up, you guys excited too. So I'm very interested in this topic because I see a lot of people sharing their wonderful drawings and art on social media, such as on Instagram and TikTok nowadays, as maybe their hobbies or their side hustles. And I try to see how chemistry can be related to it. Maybe for those who are not aware, they don't want to look too deep into their hobbies. But we, as future chemists, insha Allah, we should mm. try to relate even the simplest of things we do during our leisure times with chemistry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So first of all, is there any oh. of us here who has a hobby of painting, or maybe? Who likes to watch about painting? I'm pretty sure Diana here has some experience with painting, right? Hi. I always see you share yeah. your drawings. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. So yeah, I like painting. Uh, when I was a girl, my teacher drew a rose using a few simple shapes, and that's really mind blowing to me that it is so easy to create a rose on paper. And I tried drawing it. In my book, and was really happy when the little triangles I drew started resembling the flower, and that was when I started enjoying drawing. And later, I started using watercolors and acrylics to paint. Yeah. Wow. Hidden wow. talent in the chemists, among the chemists. So <laughs> in today's podcast, we'll be covering about painting and chemistry. So I hope you will enjoy it very much. So let's begin with the first question. Do you think that painting is a worthy hobby for a chemist? No, I don't think so. Why not? I mean, you say it's for a chemist, right? But why would a chemist waste their money buying canvas and time to do art? I mean, you should buy lab equipment and put on your lab coat or study for your finals <laughs> instead of holding a palette and a brush. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a no for me. Wow, that's Left a fair point of view. <laughs> <laughs> My God, do we have any other views among our other speakers? Maybe Sister Kira. Uh, do you think that chemistry can be related to painting? If so, can you give an example about it? Yeah, for me, of course it is. Paint itself is made of chemicals, right? Uh, so the hobby oh, must be related yes. to chemistry. Really? Yeah. Right. To make a paint, three components are required, which are pigment colors, binding mediums that hold the color together, and solvent to make the paint runny. I think the subject that relates most with painting is inorganic chemistry. You can see this in pigments, where pigments give various colors to the paint. 
Wow. 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 So what is so inorganic about paint then? Okay, let's get right into it. So, oh. as I mentioned before, the pigment particles provide the color and opacity of the paint, right? Uh, so, the color of a pigment is determined by the selective absorption and reflection of the various wavelengths of visible light. Pigment reflects some wavelengths of light and absorbs others. Most of the metal salt used in paints come from the developed metals that has properties of having colored ions and compounds. Mm. For example, titanium dioxide, which we can often find in sand, is used to make white paint. Iron oxide makes the paint yellow, and chromium oxide makes the paint green. So, depending on the type of metal used, the colors will also change. Wow! Wow! wow. That's so mind-blowing. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, so it's, it's so organic. Organic, yeah! yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow! Yeah. So impressive. That's a real info for me. I didn't know that it has anything yeah. to do with inorganic. Nice oh, one. I'm going to share with oh, you guys. Cool. <laughs> That's what this podcast is it. about. Oh my god! Yeah. 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 And life. Thank you guys for creating this podcast. Oh, wow. I think maybe we have learned this topic in our subject of chemistry, but maybe we cannot, uh, sometimes we cannot relate with pain itself, right? So today's podcast, we can relate with it. So thank you so much, Sister Akira, for your sharing. So next, done with the inorganic points, how about you, Ayman? What's your point of view on painting and chemistry? Do you think there is other works of chemistry in painting? Yes, of course. Basically, paint is a type of mixture called colloids. Colloid is a two, fa- two phases of substances called dispersed particles and continuous medium. Paint is a type of solid in liquid dispersion. Uh-huh. Yeah, I agree so with you're saying that. Oh. Wow, we have that's how it works. Subject of chemistry relates with the pain. Wow, mm-hmm. it's getting excited. So, so you're saying that pain is a colloid, right? Yes, of course. Wow. So that's how it works. I used to wonder what pain actually is. Now I know that is a colloid mixture. Yeah. Thank you, Emma. Thank you, Ivan. Thank you so much for that very knowledgeable points. So okay. you're, you're welcome, guys. Okay, no, don't be too calm. I got <laughs> another question for you. What about the texture? Uh, what makes it so dry and stick together? Ah, that's a good question, Shu. Wow, aside, you can answer it, I lose. Yes, of course. Aside from the pigment, the second most important thing we need in, in this collide is a binding medium, which is liquid polymer that hardens to form the continuous layer when the paint dries. The third important thing in our collide is the solvent. The solvent dissolves the binding medium and actually makes the paint more fluid, so you can actually use it on cam- canvas. Moreover, additives are also another component in paint that are utilized to modify the properties of the liquid paint. It is specialized in the stain blocking and mold killing capabilities and it can also be used to thicken the paint and make it easier to apply mm. so there's a lot of variability in paints i see so yeah. that's great how about you diana i heard that you mentioned that you use different mediums of paintings do you always use a lot of mediums when you paint uh um, not really depending on my mood but when I was in high school, I always used watercolors. And nowadays, I don't really use watercolor because they require specific watercolor paper. You know, you can't use normal paper when you are watercoloring because regular paper is not made to withstand the wetness. So it will often wrinkle and tear when the paint is applied. But if I feel like I want to paint uh, and I ran out of thick sketchbook, I will use gouache since it does not stain medium like watercolor because uh, it has more body texture and it will not buckle your cheap notebooks. And I also use acrylics uh, when painting on canvas or t-shirts because it has the certain qualities that can make it less frustrating. Like when we wash it, it will not mix. If we wash it with water, it will not mix with the previous layer. And it also dry quickly so I can easily layer it over other paint. Yeah. 
Wow. wow. You have so much. You, you know so much about painting. Can you teach us one day? Oh. <laughs> yeah, but we see. But we see. You have to pay. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, discount, please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> can I? Oh. oh, yeah, maybe we can because I was invited to this special podcast. Uh, yeah, I can give you yeah. discount for the new information I got here. Uh, uh. This platform give you fame and. <laughs> you oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so let's move on. Uh, thank you, Diana, for your very experience. Uh, mm-hmm. For your experience, though, yeah, on Instagram, I also sometimes see oil paintings. If I'm not mistaken, do you use this uh, medium? Um, well, if you ask, like right now, I don't really use oil paints because they're expensive. But I use oil paint sometimes with my dad to paint our house fence. Yeah, but I don't use oil paint for arts because they're very expensive. So I I only use oil paints. Uh, when I go to art classes, the one that provided in art class, of course. Oh, before that, uh, from your point, uh, before I ask about the oil painting, I mm-hmm. just realized that's why my art teachers always tell me to bring a drawing block during art class instead of just use the apple paper. So apple paper is thinner compared to drawing block, so. It's not able to withstand the paint's wetness, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah you're yes. right. Exactly. Okay, God. I just realized it. So, <laughs> there is different paints for different styles of art. Well, Ayman, can you give difference between these two different paint types, the water and oil paints? Yes, of course, Shoo. It's easy, wow. actually. Oh, wow. wow. Excited. <laughs> And the main great. difference between these two paints are the type of solvent used. Water-based paint use water, while oil-based paint use oil. Wow, talk about <laughs> obvious. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, both of the components in the paint are actually the same. So, uh, the difference will come from the mechanism, as the water in water-based paint will actually evaporate when dried. But... The oil-based paint will oxidize with the air to form the firm layer on the surface. Uh, I would like also like to add more about the oil paint. The thing about oil-based paint is that they look very beautiful, but they are not uh, very environmental friendly. Even though uh, one some one of the few one of the most important uh, ingredient of oil-based paint, which is lead, has been banned from paints in the late 1970, they can still be potentially hazardous hydrocarbons inside the paint. Also, you must make sure to plant properly to dispose of your oil-based paint because it can cause hazardous waste disposal to the river. Moreover, it is better to take preventive measure to prevent having to dispose of the paint by planning ahead before painting and buy only the required amount of paint. And finally, the best way to this the, practice the three R's, which are the reuse, re- reduce, and recycle. Wow! wow. Yeah, wow. I, yeah. We we should totally um see the impact that we have on the environment. So we should really take this seriously in order to prevent any harmful effects to our surroundings. Okay. So next, uh, we have learned quite a lot about the chemistry in painting. Yeah. So, I would like yeah, to ask Diana again, do you think that painting is a worthy hobby for chemists? Oh, please. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> well, who would have thought that painting has something to do with chemistry? But now I've heard everything and it really changed the way I view things. And, wow. So, but, <laughs> uh, even though you I changed have... your mind. Yeah, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I take back what I say. Okay. <laughs> Although I don't have access to fancy lab equipment, I still can make observations and that's how I can get started to be a better chemist. Yeah, yeah. so I agree Aww. with you. Uh, yeah. 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 Like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, since my teenage age, even me, since my teenage age, my chemistry teachers always mention that one day you will realize every single thing in this world will relate with chemistry. 
and they will continue. That is why you should study hard in chemistry to yeah. end it's called A. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even our hobby relates with the chemistry, maybe. So I think that's all the questions we have for today. But before we end this, I want to give everyone the tongue twister game. Oh, and wow. Words... wow. <laughs> Surprising me. Mm. Tongue twister. I'm bad. So you, can, you can challenge yourself, okay? So the words, I'll show it on the screen. For listeners who cannot see, uh, I'll, I'll just say it out. So it's a painting without the painting being painted by the painter who painted the painting where he's painting. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That's my try. Now I'm gonna challenge so, myself. Okay. Can I give it a try? Yeah, yeah. Here I go. A painting, painting, the painting, being painted by the painter who painted the painting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Sorry, guys. You don't need to That's my brain. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll go then, next. I'll go next. I might, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> a painting within the painting being painted by the painter who painted the painting where he's painting. Oh, I said I mine in one breath. <laughs> go show, go show. A painting within the painting being painted by the painter who painted the painting where he is a painting. Oh. Wow. wow. Yes, I think Shu, Shuhada is our winner for tonight. Congrats, Shu. Yeah, thank you, guys. So, for our viewers who, may, who still have some questions left or any suggestions for future episodes, you guys can leave them in the comments and we'll be happy to hear your feedbacks on what you guys think about the show. So, yeah. that's all from us, mm. me and Shu, and our speakers. So, see you guys. Yes, keep supporting Yay. us. Don't forget Yay. to comment. Thank, Thank you guys. guys. Smash the like button. Have a nice day. Wait for our second episode. Bringing chemistry into life. Listen it. <laughs>